<laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back uh, to our coverage of the 2023 U.S. National Championships. Yes, we have Fabi as our new national champion, but the ladies' competition up for grabs there. But we have a very special uh, guest in studio, Nick Ragone. Nick, you're with Ascension. I am. Welcome, 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 welcome. Always good to be here. Studio. Okay. Okay. I love being in here. It's, it's I do a lot of interviews you. all year for the Central Charity Classic and lots of other stuff for work, but this is the one I enjoy the most every year. Really? Yeah. Fantastic. That's true. I'm not lying. Okay, it's good. <laughs> uh, tell our viewers uh, about Ascension. Sure. Uh, you know, the viewers. Um, know me. I've been on this many times, but Indeed, essentially yeah. we're the largest hospital system in the country. We have 150 hospitals in 20 states. We serve tens of millions of people every year, particularly in the, the most vulnerable parts of the community where we're the safety net provider. And we're really proud of that legacy. And, right. uh, and I've been with Ascension for 10 years. And it's a calling to work in, in healthcare, in a Catholic healthcare system, to help the most vulnerable is really something you're called to do. And I'm really proud of the work we've done nationwide. Now, we don't have any hospitals here in St. Louis, but we're headquartered here. And because we're headquartered here, I thought it was really important that we have an impact on the community. And so we've done that through our charitable giving, including with the Chess Club and the Ascension Charity Classic Golf Tournament and other stuff. So I'm really proud of that legacy. And we're very grateful as well. And uh, thank you for that. And, and I know uh, through your son, you helped uh, the Ferguson School District in bringing chess into the schools as well. So again, thank you for that. Tell us a bit about the charity tournament. Central Charity Classic, this is our third year. We're a PGA Tour Champions mm -hmm. event. So we're partnered with the PGA Tour, which right. is the Professional Golf Association. And we started this event three years ago, really, to invest in North St. Louis County. You know, the rest of the country still thinks of St. Louis or North St. Louis County as Ferguson and what they saw on TV a decade exactly. ago. And it's much more than that. And so we created this event. All the proceeds stay in North St. Louis County to the Urban League Boys and Girls Club, Mary Grove. And, um, and I'm proud to say in year three now, again, this is a professional golf event. We're both the most charitable event on PGA Tour Champions, as well as the best attended. We've had record attendance oh, our first three years, over 50,000 people, and so uh, I'm really proud of that. That's a reflection of St. Louis, our ability to give back, uh, the commitment of our corporate sponsors to be engaged. And, and I think, you know, it's, it's covered live on the Golf Channel for three days, the Charity Classic, and it's a love letter to St. Louis. Oh. It reminds the rest of the country that St. Louis uh, is not what you remembered from Ferguson from 10 years ago, right. but rather it's a, a great place to work, to live, to play, and, the state of Missouri has invested heavily in it. Our governor, Mike Parson, our lieutenant governor, Mike Kehoe, um, our big cor por corporate partners have. And I think it's become uh, a part of the permanent sports landscape, the way the Blues and the Cardinals and soccer and NASCAR and chess and golf mm -hmm. are part of that landscape. Fantastic. Congratulations for that achievement. I think St. Louis is very happy for and very grateful for everything that you are doing for the community. And I want to ask specifically about chess because you've been instrumental in creating your uh, MOVE chess program, mm -hmm. right, which is for the underserved students. It's an after-school chess program. Tell us more about it. Sure. So uh, about eight or nine years ago now, I can't remember the exact timing, but um, it, it was born of my son at the time was in fifth grade and he was at community school and he played a lot of chess. And he said to me, apropos of nothing, you know, do all the schools in this area have after-school chess? And I, I thought, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I have no idea. Uh, but it, it got me to thinking, and this was right after Ferguson. And uh, so I made a call to the chess club, and Tony Rich picked up the phone, and I said, hey, you know, do, do all the... And he goes, no, in fact, we just got a new superintendent, Dr. Joe Davis, uh, at Ferguson, and he, he likes chess, and he'd like to have a program. Mm. And I said, what would it cost? And we started talking numbers, and... I went downstairs, talked to my CEO, and he said, let's do this. And the next thing you know, Your Move Chess was born, and we've done a bunch of fundraisers, wow. and I think we raised over half a million dollars for, for the program. And I think, it, you know, and it's been in six, seven years now, and you could see how it's impacted the lives of these kids, and it gives them more confidence, the ability to, to think on their feet, uh, to know that decisions have consequences. And so I'm just so proud of that. You know, I believe that chess has this kind of curative power. Um, to make people more whole, to heal them. It's a game we could play for life, as is evidenced by you guys. <laughs> um, and, uh, and, and so- For a long I, I, yeah, life. Like, to be great at a, a long level. Uh, and so I'm really proud of that. And I'm proud of, that, of what the chess club, and particularly Rex, his vision for chess in St. Louis, mm -hmm. scholastic chess. And you know, I'm proud of the fact that when I travel and I tell people I'm from St. Louis, they usually ask about the blues and the cards, but a lot of people will say, no, wow, isn't that the chess, chess capital? Right. I say, absolutely. I like to joke that with a, with a little vision and a lot, a lot of investment, <laughs> you could create something very special, and, and Rex has done that, and I'm really proud of it. Yeah. 
You're so right. Um, you're also the captain of your chess team, the Ascension chess team in the corporate league. And I know you guys haven't won anything. <laughs> you say that with such enthusiasm. Yeah, say that with such enthusiasm. You know, you such know, derision. New, new, new captaincy coming. Is there any chances that we could get a, get a better captain in the years uh, ahead? I, I think we have better captains um, in the waiting. Um, we, we have a very enthusiastic team. I will yes. tell you, the corporate chess league, and um, and what Alex it, is doing. Yeah, there, yeah. It, it's amazing at, at how much that is created uh, with the companies that are part of it, how competitive right. it is. And Lauren's been a big part of that. And um, they have a great team. Uh, Edward Jones does yes. and Doherty Solutions and others. And, and hey, we love Enterprise it. is the champ. And Come Enterprise. On. Yeah, that's true. We have a new champ. I got to I got to bring you into the into the mix here. Look, this is a very important game. Carissa Yip. She has a half a point lead coming into the competition. She's playing white. Begum, uh, half a point behind her. Now, you got this nice knight on the square d5. Uh, two bishops for black, but look at this. The king is going to need to castle by hand. g6, king g7. Now, you're white in this position. You just played the move bishop b3. Are you confident that your position is good enough for at least a draw? Oh, yeah. For yeah. white? Oh, yeah. yeah. So what I, what I'm not that anybody would ask me, but I like that bishop back there. I'm worried about that knight on uh, C6. C6. So I would open Jumping. up, yeah, I, I would open up that, I would open up that pawn, the A pawn, just so that it has a retreat ah, square. Okay, you like wanna, that. You yeah, like I, maybe. I, although I see the other pawn is, I mean, the other bishop, the black bishop is looking at it anyway. So yeah. that might not be the best move. No, no. I I'm mean, looking at the position. I'm worried about that knight jumping in, though. The big question that I really meant to ask you about this position is uh, basically Carissa has a choice. She has a choice that she could castle short, put the king away, yes. tuck it away there. Very safe option. Or, or go long and make it a go combative long. game. Yeah, right. That I would go long all the way. <laughs> I mean, come on. But come on, you, you better have a half point lead. Uh, yeah, that's true. The safe play is to castle short just uh, and, and make black come after you, wait back and do a lot of nothing. Yeah. Make black make a mistake. you got to like, play the tournament. That's why I'm an 1800 and not a grandmaster. <laughs> I would castle long and then just make it an all-out slugfest. Nick, you came in very, very enthusiastic <laughs> talking about Magnus Carlsen and what was going on Qatar with the watch. What's your take on that whole controversy? You know, I think um, I have two points of view. One is it, it, it's good that people are paying attention. You know, Gotham talked about it when he did his recap. When it's right. Magnus and cheating, it, it gets double the views, right? And that's right. good for the game. I wish, I wish that we would just, um, there'd be less emphasis on the accoutrements that go with it and more on the game itself. It was mm -hmm. a brilliant game, I think. Uh, Magnus himself said he didn't think it was cheating, but having an analog watch threw him off somehow. Right. He's the greatest player of all time. I don't think Bobby Fish, well, actually, Bobby probably would have gotten thrown off too. <laughs> I don't know if you would have or Gary would have or others. Bobby would have stormed out, actually. Right. Um, I, it's interesting. There's so many good young players, and Magnus not being the world champion, it's a little weird. It's a weird feeling for all of us. Like, Everybody, it's not Magnus yeah. the world champion. And I think he's adjusting to life after being world champion and being more of a streamer and doing a lot of other stuff. And his streams are interesting, but. Um, I don't think he loves classical chess the way he used to, and I'm not right. sure he's quite as sharp as he used to be. Uh, we're seeing that actually too, Kate. We're seeing that the um, online chess has changed dramatically. Absolutely. We had Wesley on earlier. He's saying, you know, on the scales, he's earning as much oh, playing fast chess as he does playing classical I'm sure chess. Sure, Vicaro earns ten times. What do people you, want to see that action. They don't want to wait two hours for a player to make a move. So I understand that it's kind of speeding up the game. When you think about the broadcast here yeah. from these U.S. championships, you're watching the highlights. You're not watching the four hours, right? It's hard to watch the full. I mean, I, I watch the highlights. I, um, you know, I go to Gotham and get some updates. And, right. and then I go and play. Like, we want to go play. I like exactly. playing online. I love classical chess, but it's, it's boring to watch. Four hours. And I'd rather see, you know, especially... Uh, even with a 15-minute time control with the increment, watching a car or Magnus, there's usually a decisive outcome. Yes. I mean, there's sometimes you get draws, but there's way more decisive outcomes. And at the end of the day, the casual fan like myself, we, we don't want to see draws. We want right. to see decisive outcomes. And the shorter the time control, the more likely you're going to see a decisive outcome. The longer the time control, the more time they think, you know, they're making stockfish level moves, exactly. less likely there's going to be a decisive outcome. And so I think, you know, as more and more people get engaged on the sport through Twitch and 
YouTube, through Gotham, through Hikaru, through Daniel and others. Um, they want to see those shorter time controls because we want to see decisive outcomes. Absolutely. Nick, thank you for, 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 for joining us. Thank you for everything you do. Thank for you for Chester supporting the St. Louis Chess Club, the World Chess Hall of Fame. And uh, cheers to Ascension and your CEO. Well, thank you. We're gonna, uh, <laughs> good luck in that conference. Pl- thank you. I was going to say, well, yeah, when are we going to play a little blitz? Oh, yeah, yeah. baby, bring you it. You've been afraid of me? Oh, yeah, yeah you I'm know I'm done. I'm black, I'm, I'm tricky. I, I, I play been, the Scandinavian. I'm very I, tricky. I've been ducking you for you quite some time. You have for Absolutely. Thank you, Nick. And uh, let's just take a quick look at our standings. Uh, we're going to 